So we're here at Rapid with Des and Jonathan Rudman and we're going to look at changing your PCD from a 4100 to a 5114. Now the reason why we're doing this is I've decided to go with the wide arch kit on the toaster and unfortunately I haven't been able to find the set of wheels that I like in a 4100. So what happens is I've gone to turn one and they've supplied me with a lovely set of Nissan Drift but unfortunately they only come in a 5114. So what have we got to do? We've got to change from a 4100 to 5114 and the guys at Rapid, they're going to show us how to do that. Cool guys, so I'm here with Jonathan from Rapid. And he's going to explain to us how he adapted my car from a 4100 to a 5114. Jonathan, so explain to me the process that you went through. Firstly, we had to strip your car's hubs down to actually see how much meat we have to play with to see if we can adapt your hubs from a 4100 to a 5114. And unfortunately, your car's hubs were an odd shape, so we couldn't really adapt them from a 4100 to a 5114 so we had to go around about actually sharing one local hole that goes straight through the adapter and the rest actually adapts and bolts to the adapter itself so it was quite an intricate part of actually converting your car it wasn't as straightforward as most other cars are given that my car is a little bit different how would the average guy go about changing from a four to a five it's a lot easier if you go from same PCD to same PCD. If you go from a 4114 to a 5114, it's very easy because you can always share that one. You, on the other hand, went from a 4100 to a 5114. So we had to machine one of the holes to adapt and take the 114 and it had to actually share that same hole. So you can't even use your spare wheel that you currently have. You're gonna have to get a new one. Wow. Jonathan, explain to us the advantages of aluminum over steel. Aluminum has got a, a, a better heat sink it dissipates heat a lot easier, it adapts also a lot easier, and it's a lot lighter than steel. Uh, the, the weight difference, like you guys saw when we weighed, even the 50 mm spacer to the 30 mm steel spacer, there is a significant difference in them. And unsprung weight just helps with the car's handling, braking, and acceleration. And don't use those ones. These ones are actually took off a client, uh, they came off a shelf, okay. and they're non hub centric. So, hub centric, what do you mean hub centric? The ones we manufacture has got a central hub where your wheel actually locates on to centralize your wheel. Then your studs only holds the wheel to the hub itself. Where these ones, you actually have to centralize or try and centralize your wheel on the studs itself. Oh, and that's wow. where vibration comes from. And if it fails, it fails very badly. Cool, and the vibrations, that's what causes the running of the bearings. Flat spots, all kinds of other issues that come with it. Nothing defines custom quite like this. This, believe it or not, is the beginning stage to my spacing. How do you go from this to what's on my car right now? What we do is we get a billet aluminium like this. It's a big cast. What they do is it gets forged under under pressure. So it's a, a billet aluminium. We get the, the billet cut to slightly uh, uh, bigger than what uh, we want or need on the vehicle itself. Then we go from this and we actually go and start machining away. Like you can see, there's a lot of machining required to actually get it to the shape that you want with the hub centric where your rim actually locates on. This is just a blank. And then from the blank, we go and machine and out all your holes. Wow. <laughs> okay. So there you can see. That's quite, quite a bit of, machining. bit of machining happening right there. And that's just to get the hub Centric, right? Correct, yes. Jesus. Okay. And then from that uh, blank, we actually go and drill the holes that's required from the vehicle. Sometimes we go from 5114 to 5114, 5120 to 5120, then it's just an adapter spacer. And then sometimes with your car, we do an adapter which is uh, changing from one PCD to a different PCD, then you'll do the change from here. It actually bolts to your car and it has studs actually uh, peeking through for the wheels. Wow, and this is already becoming a lot lighter than that block over there. Correct, yes. So that's just a little bit of the process when it comes to making a hub adapter. Well, the same would be said for a space. Correct, yes. With mine, there's a lot more work. Jonathan and the guys, they went through a lot of trouble. I mean, going from 4100, first of all, to 5114 is not an easy task. And these guys got it right. And I must say, the end product is phenomenal. When it comes to customizing your car, and especially getting wired like I did, I believe the most important thing is safety. Rather than going to your shop and buying something off the shelf, 
have something made that's going to be specifically for your car at the end of the day it's going to be less wear and tear on your car and it's going to be safer for you rather than spending that money over and over again and not knowing what the problem is so what can i say come to guys like jonathan and his dad and they will custom make you a set of hubs or a set of spaces to fit your car